Breaking news for Toronto FC tonight as Chris Armas has been named the 10th head coach in club history. And with me tonight to break it down is none other than TFC captain Michael Bradley. Michael, thanks for taking the time. Thanks for having me, Eric. Yeah, so let's, let's get right into it. I mean, Chris Armas, head coach of TFC, what was your first reaction when you heard the news? Really, really excited. Um, you know, I, uh, Chris and I have, have an incredible relationship, um, you know, going back to 1998, you know, when he, uh, he was a part of the, the expansion Chicago fire team playing for my dad. Um, you know, I was, a a young guy fortunate enough to, to spend time, a lot of time around that team. And, and so, yeah, for me, um, you know, to have the opportunity now to play for Chris, um, I'm, I'm really, really excited. I think, uh, you know, I think his, his personality, his, his leadership, the way that he can engage uh, everybody around him, um, you know, the, the standards that he'll have for, for the team, um, for every single guy, I think, uh, I think it sets up in a really, really good way for us. And, and, you know, certainly, um, you know, I think in any, in any really good team, the relationship that a coach can have with, uh, you know, his players is, is so important. And so I think for, for Chris now to come into this situation, um, you know, and, and to be able to, for, again, for me to, to have the opportunity to, to work with him, to play for him, um, I think he'll, he'll command the respect of the entire group from, from the second that he, that he walks in the, in the door. So I think it's a really exciting time for the club. You just mentioned your, your history with Chris goes back over 20 years and you've played against him during his time with Chicago. Uh, you've played against him as a manager during his time with the New York Red Bulls. So what do you think he'll bring to the table here in Toronto as the 10th head coach in club history? Yeah, I mean, look, you, Chris, um, as a player, Chris, as a coach, um, he, he, he set the standard every single day for what it meant to... Um, to, to work for what it meant to compete, um, you know, and, and I think that, you know, even in the conversations that he and I have had um, over this last stretch, I think he, he has a really good grip on our team. He knows, um, he knows us inside out. I think he, you know, certainly from now having coached against us, I think he has a really good feel for, for the group. Um, you know, certainly in this last stretch, I think he's gone back and watched a lot of our games, um, from the, from the last few years, I think, um, again, I, I, uh, I don't want to speak for him. Um, but I think that he, uh, sees all the things that have made us successful and sees all the things that, that have made us a good team. Um, but wants to, um, push us and wants to see if we can, um, for as, for as good as we've been and for the success that we've had, um, can he, can he take us to even another level and look for, for anyone who knows, um, the inside of our team, that is, that's what we want. That's what we're, we're, we're desperate for, you know, nobody, nobody is, is resting on anything that we've done in the past. The idea is to, you know, push and work and continue to um, continue to compete at the very top, trying to win, trying to win, trying to win trophies and trying to, to really do it in a way that um, makes our fans proud. As you just mentioned, there's, there's still a core here at this club that's used to winning, used to being in contention for trophies every year. Where do you see the club going under Chris Armas's leadership with him at the helm? Yeah, I, I think again, it's uh, it's it's really exciting. Um, you know, I, I for me personally, um, over the last uh, over the last few days, when I when I've uh, had the sense that this was the direction things were going, um, I, I I I couldn't have been more excited. Um, look, I. I'm, I'm not the player or the leader or the competitor that I am today um, without Chris, you know, and, and the way that even, even as a, as a young, 
aspiring professional, um, you know, the way that he was able to, to push me, the way that he was able to, you know, challenge me, the way that he was able to, you know, put his arm around me when I needed it. Um, you know, that part, that part was incredible. Uh, and he wasn't even, uh, he wasn't even the coach at that time. He was, a uh, you know, he was one of the, you know, one of the best deep defensive midfielders in the league. Um, and so I think, you know, I'm, I'm lucky because I have, I, I've seen firsthand the way that he has with people, the way that he can make people better, the way that he um, pushes and challenges people, but does it in such a positive and inclusive way. Um, and so when I think about what it means now for our team and for our club, um, I think it's, 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 it's just, it's really exciting. You know, we, we, nobody, nobody's happy with, with how last season ended. Um, obviously, you know, the news of, of Greg leaving hit every, everybody in a, in a hard way, but now I think Bill and Ali have done an incredible job um, going through this process and, and ending up with, with Chris. And I think it means that we can really uh, turn the page in a, in a really good way. And, and, you know, obviously we all understand that the beginning part of this year um, has the potential to, to be different. Um, but we, uh, there, there aren't going to be any excuses. And, and, you know, again, can't wait to, to to get back to work i think the 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 energy and the 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 mentality and just the the feel um within the group is 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 going to be really good and um, i think it's going to be uh a, a, a big year for for everyone exciting times for toronto fc uh, as toronto fc will start this new era under chris armis at the helm Thank you, Michael, for joining us and keep it locked to torontofc.ca for all the latest as news continues to unfold.